Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsvary.com. Today the topic of our discussion is chloroplast structure and function in detail. We will be discussing the definition of chloroplast, average size, number, shape, then regarding the structure, tick-tock complex, stroma, grana, site of major reactions and all the major functions in detail within 5 to 10 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Please watch till the end for complete understanding. Let's begin. First of all, starting with the definition of chloroplast. Chloroplasts are self-duplicating, semi-autonomous, double membrane bound, chlorophylleated, green, cytoplasmic organelle found in plant cells and in some protists. The main function of chloroplast is undoubtedly photosynthesis. And this is the plant cell. You can see this is a chloroplast. This is the chloroplast. Let us zoom in that chloroplast. And this is a chloroplast. Chloroplast number, size and shape vary in different plants. Average size is 5 to 7 micrometer in diameter and 1 to 2 micrometer in thickness. In Spirogyra and Chlorella, there is one chloroplast per cell. In the case of land plants, mesophyll cells often average number of chloroplast is 20 to 40. Shape mostly spherical, it may be cup shaped. In the case of algae like Zygnima, it is stellate or star shaped, whereas in the case of Spirogyra, it is ribbon shaped. Moving into the structure of chloroplast. Chloroplast consists of a proteinaceous fluid filled matrix which is called a stroma. It is a double membrane bound organelle. There is an outer membrane and an inner membrane. Outer membrane is semi permeable. It is permeable to small ions but not permeable to large proteins. Both membrane is having translocon complexes or channels for transporting proteins or larger molecules. It is called a stick translocon in inner chloroplastic membrane whereas stock complex in translocon in outer chloroplast membrane. So this membrane has certain channels that allows the transport of proteins from and to the chloroplast. Then stroma is a metabolic center. It contains double stranded circular DNA, water proteins, enzymes, lipids, etc. That is why this organ is called as semi-autonomous as it is having its own DNA. Still, majority of the proteins are coded by nuclear DNA. Then granum is a site of light reaction. It consists of many sacs, sac-like structures that is placed one above the other. This sac-like structure that is placed one above the other is called as granum and the individual units are called as thylakoid. Often 5 to 50 thylakoids are stacked one above the other. Adjacent grana are connected by membranous tubules which is called as stroma lamellae or fret membranes. Photosynthetic pigments are located on the thylakoid membrane. The space inside the thylakoid sac is called as the thylakoid lumen. Major function of chloroplast is photosynthesis. Now let us see where is the exact location where major reactions of photosynthesis occurs. So this is the chloroplast and you can see this is called the granum and individual unit is called as thylakoid. Let us zoom in this thylakoid and this is the thylakoid membrane. Thylakoid membrane you can see there is photosystems, then electron carriers, pigments are located on the thylakoid membrane. Therefore, the site of light reaction is thylakoid membrane. And you can see this is a thylakoid lumen. The space between this membrane is called as lumen where photolysis of water takes place or water splitting takes place during non-cyclic photophosphorylation. And the ATP is synthesized towards the stromal side and that is utilized to run Calvin cycle. So Calvin cycle or dark reaction or light independent reaction takes place in the stroma. Major function is photosynthesis providing energy and carbon for all heterotrophs. Then it is a semi-autonomous organelle with its own DNA ribosomes and translation mechanisms. It is coding for some proteins required for chloroplast itself. That is why it is called a semi-autonomous. Then it is involved in plant 
innate immune response. Chloroplasts are involved in producing molecules like salicylic acid, jasmonic acid, etc., which serves as defense signals in stress conditions. Then it is involved in amino acid synthesis that takes place in stroma. Majority of amino acids for plant cells are synthesized in stroma. It is involved in synthesis of pyrene and pyrimidine nitrogen species of DNA and RNA and also it is a major site of fatty acid synthesis in plant cells. These are the major functions of chloroplast. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe, share and like.